I'm Mike Sullivan. I'm Lauren Rosella. And yesterday we worked on Lauren's golf game a little bit. Mm -hmm. She was slicing, slicing her driver. So we had an actual golf lesson. Here it is. Little cut, right? Okay, so, so that shot, if you take a look here, so your club face was open 9.3 degrees to the path and the path was going 8.3 degrees to the left okay. of your target, okay? And uh, you hit, actually hit down on that a little bit, which you'd rather hit up on it, but um, we need to get, we'd like to have the, 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 the face and the path closer to zero, you'll hit it straighter, all right? So let's first see what's going on with your club face to see is there something going on with your club face that is making you swing left with your path or vice versa, all right? Let's do that. So grip looked pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. Like a teacher. Go ahead and set him get ready to go. It's far away. So that one looks like it's cutting a little bit less than the last one, right? Yes. Yeah, face was 2.4 right, path was still left, seven degrees left, okay? Okay. Let me just watch from one from down the target line here. Okay. Oh, that looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah. Great ball. All right, so on that one, still. face was 2.8 right, pass still a little left. So that's one where you may have cut it a little bit more towards the heel to take some of the slice spin off it. Okay. So let's um, let's pull up the perfect motion, see what that says, all right? All right, so now we're rec recording the screen on the perfect motion, so we'll be able to see that in the video, right? Set yeah, up on ball. Move closer. Look to target. Look back at ball. Swing. Swing one captured. because we're recording the screen. Good. They're all kind of um, cutting a little bit though, right? Yeah, that one didn't feel so much but or didn't look so much but it probably was okay path was left so is that five swings yep all right so let's take a look at your phone and what's funny is you got exactly what i thought you might be getting so um when we go and look at your results here i'm just gonna look at your motion maps Add side bend and impact. Add side bend and impact. Add, oh, that says too far too forward. Fo too forward and impact. That's what you And hanging again. back. So what I was seeing for the slice, right? I thought because, now this you haven't hit, done this thing with the driver before, mm -hmm. but what I was expecting to see was, I'll put this down here, I'm sorry. What I was expecting to see was add side bend and impact because your path 
is always going left with that driver, at least today. Okay. So do you know why add side bend at impact helps get rid of a bad path? No. So if you grab the club, right? So if I have side bend, that means I'm, I'm, I'm hitting shots this way, right? My left, my left hip, my front hip is moving. It's starting the downswing forward towards the target, getting back behind my heel, and it creates this sort of a tilt of my spine. Well, if my spine is tilting this way, the club is gonna wanna swing more in to out. If I don't have enough of that tilt, it's gonna wanna be out to in. Okay. Now your swing certainly doesn't look like that, but just by looking at the ball flight and what I've seen using the, the app, I figured it was gonna say add some more side bend. So what we wanna do is we wanna get you when you're striking the ball to have your, it may feel like your head is hanging back a little bit, but we need to have your spine tilting more a little bit this way. All right, so the type of fault we should see now, if you don't get it right on the money, might be hanging back at impact. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna check with the flight scope and see if your path stops going quite as much to the left or even gets going to the right. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so let's work that. So I'm gonna put your phone back on. So I wanna feel like my at impact, my head is still back here, so. Yes. Okay. Make sure this is recording. So your screen is on again, all right. Training, ball, driver, five swings of that driver. So we're gonna work really on you feeling like your head is hanging back a little bit. Make a couple of practice swings. Four, three, two, one. All right. Step forward. I'm gonna get back You're here too and far away. see down the line here. Does that make sense how that's gonna help you come more from the inside? No? No, it doesn't. Okay. I don't know how. How is it? So, so just, you know, tilt your spine, uh -huh. right? And pretend you're hitting a baseball up here. And make sure you say tilted this way. And now swing just around your spine. Does that club want to swing up or down? Up? Yes. It wants to swing up. So that sort of emotion, now bend a little more from the hips like the pitch is getting lower, right? Can you see how now it's gonna make the club wanna swing more this way? It's gonna be hard to keep that tilt. It's gonna be really hard to keep that tilt. Get your hip forward the other way, yep. It's gonna be really hard to get that tilt. So how, to, to come that way, maintain that tilt. It's a lot easier with that tilt. Hip towards the target, turn. That's what, can you see how the club's okay. coming from the inside now? Yeah. Does it really you make know, sense? Well. So I was focused on my club face. I wasn't focused on my path. I was thinking, how, how is that going to help my club face? But it's not. It's going to help my path. Right. And the one thing is we're having consistent. Like that last ball, your face was only half a degree right of the path. But the path was eight left. Okay. So that's why I want to jump on the path. Because your club face isn't off that much a lot of times. Am I going to see when I get that path handled? Would I generally see more of a... You're going to hit pushes and draws and hooks. Okay. Yeah. More. Okay. All right, so now you see the ball flight going to the right. Yeah. So the face is open. Let's see what the path says. Three, three left, let's try it again. Well, I forgot to listen to perfect motion on that one. It's okay, so you were too far forward at impact. That's what I normally get. Yeah. 
looks kind of like me. So same with me, we got to get more of this going on. Ready? That left heel getting behind, that left hip getting behind the left heel more. So a little drop kicky, let's see what it looks like. How'd that one feel? Oh, guess what? Perfect motion. <laughs> okay, I'm good job. Good job, so your path there was only one degree left. That's, it's hard to work on this stuff with the driver, by the way, you know? But this is where you're seeing that little issue, right? That was really good. It thinks I'm a lefty. Did you That's fix how bad it? Was. No, it doesn't. Can you manage it from there? Like, no, I can just watch it. Oh, I like it. Now, I think your weight was on your toes on that one, but. You know, I really tried to get my heel. Guess what, perfect motion. You got another one. Ooh, your path was left though. We gotta keep working that, all right? Need a tea? I wish I could say it's going to be all super easy, but... That was definitely out to end. Too far forward at impact. So you're coming too much of this, not enough of that. So I want you to do this for me, and it's gonna to be tough, but I want you to stand a little taller. Okay. I want that little that little curve in your back to get flattened out a little bit, so you're gonna get your, your butt tucked a little bit underneath your hips that way. Okay. Because that's gonna make it easier to turn that way. All right. Does that make sense yep. too? Okay. See your butt tucked under, staying a little taller. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so you had your club face turn dead left at setup. Did you see that? No, I didn't. So that was obviously pretty uncomfortable, right? Very uncomfortable. Hey, let's heat up a little bit. Okay. Well, that's a little hooky. Yeah, that was a little bit of a draw. Let's see what it says. Now the flight scope ran out of, uh, oh, perfect motion. Good job, all right. Good job. Let's hit one more. We re we lost our launch monitor. The battery died. Okay. Been a long day of, of golf lessons today. So that's that is a lot better. Now what is cool here is what it'll show you is when you look at that. It lets you get into. What, what a um, tour player would do. So there, you got a perfect motion there. Mm -hmm. Now if you really wanted to keep working on really, really get things going better, it would show you there. So position one, you'd be obviously where you started. Position two, you'd get a little bit more deeper and taller. And then three, you'd go down and forward. One of the things that's going on with you is because you don't get back very far, 
when you go forward, you got nowhere to go, so you go too far forward. Okay. Does that make sense too? Yeah. So the, the thing with the slice though is a lot to do with not having enough spine tilt, right? But what we could do is we could work on also having you get a little bit deeper in your backswing so that you have room to go forward and then you'll be able to make good contact and you probably won't hit down on the ball. Okay. Wanna try that? Yeah. Then you can get back a little bit deeper and start with your lower body on your, on your downswing. Let me get this ready for you. Now when you say deeper. Get, so when you set up, you've got a little spine tilt, right? Right. So your, 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 your head is back behind the ball. Mm -hmm. So let's have you maintain that depth. So as you turn your shoulders back, you're moving back with your shoulder. Yeah, like that. There you go. Oh, how about that? I feel good. All right, I don't know if I want to play tomorrow now. Perfect motion again, okay? So the big thing, was, and you didn't quite get back behind it there, but that's mm -hmm. okay. Um, the big thing on that, we'll show you on your phone, because this, this is the screen that's recording. So we just take a look at that. Right, so you didn't quite get behind it. Again, that's the maybe a little goal going forward. But the biggest thing is because you're getting a little bit of that tilt this way, you're able to get the club to come more from the inside. And you're not gonna have the pulls and the slices as much. Okay. Good job. Thanks. Well, we hope that helps. We'll see you next time. Welcome to Coffee Talk with Mike and Lori. Let's talk some golf. There you go.